Hello, this is Lord Ogun. Welcome to Magna Carta 2. Yes, I'm going to start the playthrough now, or the walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. Let's play. We're going to start it here and now, and I'm really looking forward to it. I actually have played, I've looked at my old save games, and the, I actually played over 70 hours of this game in, the, in my first playthrough. So, it shows how much time I put into it. Now, I'll just get started here. Oh, there we go. Now, things like the grinding that comes in game, I will be doing that January, off camera. Year I'll let you listen to this. Prime Minister. Shuenzite, Prime Minister of Lonsheim, launched a rebellion, killing Queen Ibrine and usurping the throne. Come, Your Highness. We must hurry. Princess Rizafilda, who was 15 years old, had been held prisoner within the palace for a time, but made a miraculous escape. And, in order to resist Shuenzite, enlisted the aid of Count Alex, an influential noble. One year later... Northern forces, comprised of Lonsheim army troops and led by Shuenzite, clashed with the southern forces, formed by Count Alex and the lords of neighboring cities. This was the beginning of what would later be called the Lonsheim Civil War. Must not allow her to be killed. Princess Rosafilda. Even now, after two years have passed, the shadow of war looms like a dark cloud covering the entire kingdom of Lonsheim. Oh, there you go. Lots of flashy lights and magic. Uh, yeah, as I said, I'll be doing the grinding off camera. Uh, if you don't know what grinding is, I'll explain it, Back but I think then, most of you do. I was just a kid who didn't know anything. Who I was, where I came from. And here's your main character, Juto. I had amnesia and floated through a dull, uneventful life on this island.
That's his sister. You can keep on hauling her up. Okay, pull. Thanks a lot. Why am I not surprised? Would you get up from there already? I said get up. Can't you see that everybody else is working? <laughs> hey, cut it out. Look, I was up really late working yesterday. So cut me some slack. Slack, huh? Go ahead and rest if you huh? want. Really? Yeah, rest in peace. <laughs> that works. Hey, hey, you don't fell. Not exactly fell. <clears throat> Maybe I just wanted to turn a blind eye to reality. What are you doing? Are you trying to kill me? You brought it on yourself. This is no time to be napping. The village is in danger. You mean that talk about the Northern forces attacking again? You and the Island Guards drove them off last time, remember? What's the big deal? The Southern forces were helping us then. We were lucky, that's all. If the Northern forces decided to go all out, this island wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, but the Southern forces are on the island, right? They'll back us up again. The reason the Southern forces are here isn't so they can save our hides. I bet the real reason they're here is to get their hands on the Guardian. Guardian? What's that? Is it that big a deal? Don't you remember? The Guardian is a living weapon created by the hero Strauss in the Great War 1,000 years ago. The Northern forces created monster weapons called Sentinels based on it. Apparently, Sentinels are massacring lots of Southern force soldiers as we speak. The Southern forces are helpless in the face of those powerful monster weapons. It's a one-sided slaughter. That's why they're interested in the Guardian. So the Southern forces want to fight the Sentinels with the Guardian? I think what they're after is to figure out how the Sentinels are constructed. The Northern forces won't let them do that. Since the Guardian's been found on this island, there's no telling when it'll become a battlefield. That's why it's vital to keep a constant lookout on the shoreline. Now that we're clear on that, I want you to go to the observatory and see if Northern forces' ships are coming. Jeez, how come I'm always your errand boy? It's punishment for slacking off. You don't have anything better to do. Uh. Okay, I'm going to take uh, the voices down a little bit. If you are away from an event trigger point, an arrow will appear on the minimap that points in the direction of the trigger point. As you get close to the event trigger point, an event icon will appear on the minimap. If you move on top of the event icon, the event will trigger. If you move on top of the event icon and the event does not occur, the event will be triggered by talking to nearby characters or defeating certain enemies. There we go. Right, I'm just going to take down speaking volume a little bit. Uh, voice volume. I left it quite high. It didn't need to be that high. Uh, yeah, that should do it, I think. Yeah, I'll do that. There we go. Okay, so let's go and go to the lighthouse, I think it was. Is there a quest thing? I haven't played this for ages. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Okay. So uh, I'm trying to... It's been, a, it's been ages since I've played this game. Ah, oh, there we go, map. So I'm there. Is there a zoom in, zooming in thing? No? Good. So the event... Oh, it's over there. Right, I've got it. So it's up here. No, it didn't. That's dead end. It's along here. Then up there. No, it's not there. <laughs> there we go. I've got it now. Now I'm not talking to you. Along here. 
So I'm just pressing buttons right now to see what things do. Then it's up here. And oh, not that way. It's no, it is. It's that. Oh no, it's there. There we go. There we are. I love this game. It's a beautiful game. No sign of the northern forces anywhere. It's all very quiet, same as always. Careful what you wish for. Or don't wish for, I should say. She's caught him. He's slacking again. Get him. So you're slacking off again. <laughs> I told you. 